Hello all, welcome to the second video of this tutorial series. Today we will talk about the Power Electronic Model Builder in ADS. In the last video, we talked about the basics of ADS and got used to its user interface. Now what is a Power Electronic Model Builder? The Power Electronic Model Builder tool in ADS helps us build switching devices that behave like their experimentally observed characteristics. Let us take for example the boost converter in the previous video. In this, we used a generic MOSFET as the switching device. However, a lot of times we might want to use something more realistic. For example, a switching device with some specific VI characteristics available in a datasheet. To get started with this model builder, we start with the schematic window. Here, we go to the tools at the top where we have the Power Electronic Model Builder. To help understand in detail how this tool works, I highly recommend you read through its help section. We can see here that the Power Electronic Model Builder works in 4 easy steps. First, we have to select the device type, whether it is silicon carbide or simple silicon. Second. We specify the measured data. Third, we run the extraction and finally, we just export the model. For this tutorial, I have taken a standard silicon carbide C2M MOSFET. So let us keep the device type as silicon carbide. The next step is to get the measured data. The measured data we need here is current to voltage or the IV plot and capacitance to voltage or the CV plot of the device. Let us look at the IV and CV characteristics given in the datasheet of this MOSFET. We see that generally these characteristic plots are given in the form of simple images with no real quantitative data. And that is why we need to digitize these plots to feed them to the power electronic model builder. There are a lot of tools out there that give digitized data from plots. For this video, I recommend a tool called the Webplot Digitizer that works really well with ADS. This is an open source tool that is very useful and easy to use. We will use this tool to extract the digitized information from the plot. To understand how this tool works, I highly recommend watching the tutorial video right here on its website. As a demo for the viewers, let's quickly extract digitized data for one of the IV characteristic curves. You can see that I have erased the grid lines on this IV curve image. This is because this tool works on filtering out colors and because the grid and curves are of the same color, they need to be erased. Next, we need to set the color of the curve we wish to extract and mask the curve for extraction. After extracting the data, we need to export it to a CSV file for further use. This is to be done separately for every curve line. One thing worth mentioning is that we do not want commas in between the elements of this file. So please format it with spaces in between. As you can see, I exported one CSV file for one curve line in the graph. Similarly, a separate CSV file needs to be generated for every other curve line present in the graph. After exporting them to the CSV format, we need to combine these files into a single .mdf file. This is done using this command given in the ADS help section 
titled data sheet data extraction the link to which can be found at the bottom of the help section for the power electronic model builder after generating the mdf files we need to make some changes mentioned here in the help section to the contents of the file to make it readable to ads this file can be viewed using any text editor like notepad to make the changes a similar process is to be followed to extract the CV curve. Here I have already extracted the CV curve into an MDF file. A point worth mentioning here is that the exponent of the capacitance needs to be added to the file to make this work. This is because the tool just extracts the numerical values in the curve ignoring the units. After we are done with this process, we can add the body diode characteristics if we want or we can just run the extraction. For this tutorial, I won't put in the body diode characteristics. We will also enable the artificial neural network in the extraction settings to get better results. We can clearly see how the simulation engine tries to fit the curves. After running the extraction, look if the characteristics are as expected and export the model to the schematic. This model can now be used to put a switching device in our circuit. As we can see, this unique tool helps us build realistic switching devices from datasheet plots which can then be used in various applications. And that's it for this video. For reference, I have attached the workspace and all the relevant files in the link provided in the description. Thanks for watching.